these kind of places really are really just cool and unique. Um, I did a couple of shots there at the beginning of this video of just some, uh, you know, around the location. I'm going to do a little bit of a walk around this way now. Because I know sometimes you guys say, well, I like it more like Cinema Verite style. You know, walking around and I can obviously cover more ground and do a little bit of a narrative. And make it come alive a little bit more. Heard about this place, actually I saw a road sign that mentioned it. It said, um, Wauseon Historical Train Depot. And I was like, you know, I love these kind of places. So... Um, looking for something interesting to capture. This is definitely that kind of place. It's the historical Wauseon train depot. This was built in 1896. It was restored in 1975. So 38 years ago it was restored to its current state. And it looks like here there's depots and caboose tours. So seven, uh, seven, I don't know what I'm reading. 4 p.m. Tuesday through Friday and two on Saturday. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna, well, I mean, it's a little bit of a stretch to read all that, but um, it's also a museum inside. Oh my God, some kind of uh, mosquito-like objects <laughs> hit me in the face. Don't you love mosquito-like objects? Very cool place. Some cool plaques. It's on the uh, National Register of Historic Places. It's been placed there by the United States Department of Interior. Huh. I'm going around again here. You can see the main train tracks. You know, there's I know a lot of train buffs like this kind of stuff. This place, interestingly, isn't there's no video of it online yet, but uh, I don't really want to get too close to the tracks because obviously, it's start getting close to um, railroad property, it's not quite as lenient. But definitely right alongside a rail yard, so you can imagine when this was used back in the late 1800s in early 1900s. It's pretty amazing to think, you know. Really awesome location. And I'm gonna come right back and uh, show you some of the caboose that's right to the left of me. The sun is so bright that I'm trying to capture what the sign says here. I'm having a little bit of a rough time, there we go. Might as well just do it that way. The side the sun's actually on. And here we go, LS and MS 10759 caboose. Love these cabooses. And so I guess if you came back on a Tuesday through Friday, starting at 2 o'clock, or no, 4 o'clock, I don't know, I'm confused. 4 o'clock, you can uh, take a turtle. Man, this is mayflies. Actually, they are mayflies. Um, distracting me from the cool caboose here. But uh, you can actually get an inside tour of the caboose at that time. I mean, there's such cool um, cars. Uh, every one of them just has a unique color scheme. Usually a typical caboose red, but always a little bit different. I mean, if you notice, this one has like lines going up and down on the side. I think the wood styling is a little bit different. Some of them have more like flat panel wood. This one has actually like boards that go along the side. And the shadowing right now is just pretty rough to deal with. And one more walk around here. Have some people coming up. They say he has a camera in his video, and so I'm gonna try to watch out for them now. I'm gonna cut it right here, guys. I hear the uh, guardrails closing. Here it comes. This is gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be 
The Wasi has to throw a train depot and we're gonna get a train pass too. Here we go. This is gonna be intense. I know, like, as I said earlier, some of you guys really enjoy this, and while I can still talk, the inside of this uh, museum actually has a huge model train set up, so if you want to stop by at 4 p.m. on uh, Tuesday through Friday and check it out, I should do that sometime. Here we go. Say turn your volume down, it's gonna get pretty intense. I mean, it already was. I can barely talk. Look how loud this is. I don't know how long of a train it is. I can't, I can't see the end right now. in the ground. I mean, my camera's on a table. Oh, here we go, here we go. Wow. I think we have another train coming in. another train go by so I'm gonna throw another train going by I'm sure if I stayed here for an hour or so we'd probably have like six trains go by or more so it's coming up I uh, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling here I think it's going a lot slower I think the other one was really going uh, probably 45 or 50 miles an hour. This one was probably going like 25 or 30. So I might actually have to cut it and then come back. Come on, train wrecking up the shot. Not coming soon enough. That's under wrong. Yeah, I think right there was a classic case of train false alarm. It has lights on. It might have just been going to a sidetrack. And now it looks like it might even be backing up. So. I'm gonna end it right here, guys. Thanks for watching the Wasiana Historical Train Depot. We had a cool train running by. That was a cool time. Really beautiful day out here, too. Thanks for watching.
I'm going to add this on to the end of the video I shot earlier today. But it's, you know, late in the day. It's 8.24 right now. And uh, this kind of is relevant. Because this McDonald's has a caboose in the back. Which I thought was kind of cool. You don't see that a lot. I mean, so many McDonald's are just the same cookie cutter places. Some of them have been remodeled. This one's a little older. But it has like a dining quarters in there. And there's like a park benches and stuff on the uh, right oh, sorry the left hand side so it's kind of interesting to see um, definitely a nice addition to make it unique but uh, yeah it's been it's been a long couple weeks guys um, I want to let you know right now I did post the um, little bit of sunset video and uh, Oh, there's gonna be oh, there's a car coming um, through the drive-thru and I'll not show up but I posted a little bit of sunset video uh, Sunday before I went to class it's a week later and I want to let you know that I'm, I'm not gonna be able to record videos for a while um, it's my senior year in college and uh, I want to really you know focus as much attention as I can on that as you can probably understand and uh, put my attention on you know what I need to do to just get through the final year and I'm gonna be graduating next May so I know you guys understand I, I do appreciate it I try to create videos and stuff but I do the best I can you know when I have the time and during the summer of course I could put out a lot of content and I know Jack mentioned that uh, I kinda kinda toned it down um, and it's simply that makes sense because I just don't have as much time in the summer it's pretty much like you know any free time I have or whatever I'd be able to just go out and film if I could but right now as you can guess um, there's a lot of other responsibilities that start coming up and when I spend all the time I you know was on videos all the time um, it obviously gets a little bit tough to focus all that attention there you know making quality stuff driving around editing takes a lot of effort so those out there who are continuing to do videos constantly like Adam and you know the unknown cameraman Dean all you guys it's been an awesome summer and uh, you know it's been fun I guess there's been some interesting experiences not all fun but um, hopefully coming up with some new content uh, as fall comes probably won't see anything new until October early or mid October so don't think I'm gone I'm just doing other stuff guys thanks so much I will see you in the near future. Signing off from this summer night.